Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Kabaku and welcome to ALB, the place to trade. Our chart of the day is the German DAX. With regards to the economic data for this morning, we had the German unemployment change for the period of July. And the fi actual figure that was released was much better than the forecast uh, at 43,000. We had the actual figure come in at minus 18,000. And then subsequently, we had the German GDP quarter on quarter for Q2 also be released at 10 a.m., with the forecast being at minus 9% and the actual figure coming in at minus 10.1%. This obviously um, um, should be expected considering the difficulties that the uh, global economy has been experiencing with regards to the uh, coronavirus pandemic and the, the German economy um, is not immune to, to those, if to those the difficulties. However, what's important to note is that over the last few weeks we have seen measures taken by the EU um, as well as uh, Germany and France to look at a recovery plan with regards to help bolstering um, their respective economies and the um, the UK and the euro uh, as a whole. We also had data uh, from yesterday suggesting that the, um, the that the Fed was the U.S. Federal Reserve was going to maintain its monetary uh, its um, monetary policy um, at 0.25 percent. So that so that suggests that they will carry on implementing their current policy in a means to bolster the the the, the um, US economy so we can we can extrapolate that that sort of sentiment is going to be um, shared across multiple um, economies and continents across the world. When we look at the, the charts at the moment, we did see that before the data came out, there was quite a bit of a sell-off on the on the DAX. And I think it's, at a, it's particularly now at a level where we could potentially see maybe some bit of consolidation um, before a move higher. Uh, so at the moment, that area, which I'll just denote on screen here, this area right now is an area um, of consolidation where we could see the price of the uh, German DAX uh, move lower, uh, of, of trade within. Um, so from that perspective, I would be expecting to see um, that sort of strength come in, particularly as we are ab above the 200 exponential and moving averages. When we look at the five minute um, time frame over here, we, did, we do see that rejection just at the low here, suggesting that um, buyers, at least for the short term, have stepped in to actually shore up the market. So in my view, taking the trade from the um, from this current levels with the expectation of seeing it move higher gives us, is, is, a, is a potentially, well, less risky trade and actually um, looking for shorting opportunities, particularly when we have the, um, these respective governments assure, tr providing that assurance that whatever steps that are necessary will be taken to um, shore up their economy. So at the, as a result, I'm just going to place a, a long on this particular pair on this instrument and make the necessary um, adjustments as a result. So based on our risk parameters, I'm just going to modify that a bit and place a 0.1 lot on this particular instrument. Now the expectation will be to then see it move um, to move to the upside. Now what we do have here is the, I'm just going to redo that, bear with me. So what we can do, we now see is that we actually now have the trade um, as shown on the other tab um, with the respective stop losses and, and stop loss and take profit um, set. So the, the, the idea here would be that um, should price not break below the, this, this level here, then we could potentially um, see um, the, uh, the DAX move to the upside. That would essentially bring us to the end of today's chart of the day. Good luck and good trading.